Hi everyone, I'm Yi and I'm a front-end developer at Defy AI. Today I'm going to introduce you guys with our latest update, the parallel workflow. And I will show you guys some samples that how we can utilize this new feature and make our workflows more intuitive and efficient. Let's dive into the update. Actually, before we dive into our new update, let's take a moment to recall previous workflow system. And uh, as many of you know, we have been using a serial workflow for almost five months. And uh, in this kind of workflow, our tasks are completed one after another in a sequential order, like uh, from the screen we can see uh, is like in this way. And uh, to be more specific in this example, the novel generator workflow, um, we first have a start node here. This start node requires the user to provide three inputs, the genre, the character's information, and the rhythm. And the first node after the, this start node will generate a tone for the novel based on the genre. And uh, it will then um, design the characters based on the tone setting and the character's information the user provided from the start node. And uh, finally, it will generate the content for the novel based on all the information it has gathered previously. And uh, this kind of workflow um, actually is very straightforward and similar to how we as a human to write a story. However, um, as we know, in one novel, we usually have multiple characters, but, uh, but in this workflow, we only have one character design node here. And uh, these tasks inside this um, character design node are actually different from the um, novel generation node and the character design node, because the novel generation node uh, is highly dependent on the character design node. Since we want to keep the consistency of the workflow, we don't want the characters in the novel content generated from the generation node are different from the characters we designed from the design node. But the tasks inside the character design node are the generations for different roles um, for the novel. And uh, these tasks can actually be independent from each other and can be executed simultaneously. How, um, but uh, however, they um, they are in one node. They have to be completed one after another in a sequential order, and uh, this causes a waste of time, especially we have to resource. And uh, that's uh, one of the reasons we want to introduce parallel processing into our flows and make our flows more efficient. And this workflow is designed by one of my colleagues, and he adds a parallel processing to the novel generator workflow we have seen previously. And uh, in this workflow, uh, instead of asking the user to provide a very long description for all characters, this workflow uh, requires the user to provide a more specific description for each row in this novel. And uh, after the tune has been set for this novel, there will be a parallel. And uh, this parallel has three branches. And each branch is responsible for the generation of one row. And uh, all the three branches will be executed simultaneously after the completion of the novel tone node. And uh, since the execution time for each node might be different, some branches might be completed faster than the others. And uh, and which means the novel content completion node needs to wait for the completions of all the three branches, and then it can generate the content for the novel, and then output the final story here. And this workflow is much more efficient than the previous one, and we can derive this information by um by com comparing this um character's generation part, uh, with the previous one. So uh, the total time we spent on this part uh, is the max of the three execution time for the uh, three branches. But if these tasks are in one node, then they have to be done in a sequential order. Then the total time uh, will be the sum up of the three time. So, um, so with, the, with the parallel processing, uh, the workflow saves a lot of time for, the, for some parts. And uh, this workflow is also is also uh, more intuitive for me and the large language models. 
And from my perspective, it pro uh, it asks the user to provide a more specific description, and uh, which means the large language models can have a more specific input, and maybe get a better result, and output the uh, output the uh, final story that better fits the user's needs. And uh, some of you guys might be wondering how you can build your own parallel workflows. And uh, actually, this is very simple. Basically, you just need to add multiple branches after Node, and then you can get a parallel. And uh, now we have an example here. Um, this example has a context that uh, recently we have a big release about the parallel workflow. And uh, I have written an email in English about this new feature and want to invite our users to try the try it. And uh, I and since our users from different countries and use different languages, I want to build a workflow to help me to translate my English version email into different languages. And uh, and I don't want the workflow to be a serial workflow because the translation from uh, like from Chinese is onto uh, Japanese actually is independent from the translation from um, Chinese to English. So I want uh, these translations to be in a uh, parallel. And uh, and for now, uh, I have already added some branches. And uh, suppose uh, we have some users speak Germany and uh, I want to add one more branch uh, to translate our English email into Germany. And uh, we can add the new branch by, um, by click the Add um, button here and to add a new node, and then we can get a new branch. And we can also do this by click the Add Block uh, button here and, uh, and then connect them together. And we, we can also do this by open the panel for this node. And uh, uh, here we have a next step section. And we can just, we just need to add uh, one more node here. And then we can get a new branch. And uh, I will rename this, um, this node. And uh, I will give some, um, I will co copy and paste the um, prompt for this node and uh, and uh, I don't want this translated email to uh, to be like a hard translation so um, I will have one more node and uh, and uh, in this node I want the the I want the I want the, this email to be um, to better fit the Germany communication styles and uh, and then we can connect this node to the end node and then we can just one more step to add the Germany version to our end node, and we can give the um, um, it a noun as an output variable here, and then we can publish this app and run this app. And I have prepared an email, an English email. We can put it as an input to the workflow. And we can see after the final formalized email node has completed, then we will have a parallel. And in this parallel, we have five branches. And each branch is responsible for the translation of one language. And uh, I can only understand the Chinese version here. And uh, uh, actually, I think uh, it satisfies my expectations. And maybe you can take a look at the languages that you can understand and uh, to see um, does it satisfy your expectations. 
So far, I have shown you guys some common examples, and I have only shown you guys one type of parallel workflows. And actually, you can be more creative than me, and I will introduce all the um parallel other types of parallel workflows that you can have in your app. So um so in this example here, we can see uh we can actually have a parallel nested inside a parallel and nested inside a parallel. Um, but for now, we have a constraint for the parallel nesting layers. So we, for now, we only allow three, um, three parallel nesting layers at most in one workflow. And uh, secondly, you can have, uh, you can have parallels inside an iteration node. And in this iteration node, you can add multiple branches after a node and then you can create a parallel and uh, as you can see the count for the parallel nesting layer will start from zero inside one iteration node and which means you can have at most three parallel nesting layers uh, inside one iteration node and lastly you can also have a parallel next to the if and else node like you can um, add multi multiple branches after the if condition and then you create a parallel here. So um, basically this is all, um, all I have for today's update and I hope you enjoy this new feature and have fun.